Um, Donald Trump was asked earlier this week when he was out campaigning in Nevada his plan, and he said he would like to release more federal lands to allow homes to be built. Is that sufficient? Well, first off, thanks for thanks for having me on. You know, I'll tell you this: uh, as a businessman, before I became governor, I was in the mortgage business, and the last thing that you want to do is the the vice president harris plan which is to put twenty five thousand dollars more into every single person's pocket for the purpose of buying houses because if you increase the demand without fixing this for first time homeowners that's correct but if you throw the demand side up without fixing supply mm -hmm. what happens to pricing you're actually exasperating the problem prices for housing goes up so the solution that President Trump's talking about, and it's the correct solution, is to eliminate permitting reform, get permitting reform, make it easier to developers, make it easier for people to develop and build houses, get rid of regulations. That's the, that's the free market principles that we believe in, and we know are the correct way to do it. I mean, if, when you think well, about it, listen, Go ahead. Sorry, the vice president said she also wants to create three million homes. So she is talking about adding to supply. But on the, the Republican Party platform, because we went to look at it, um, it says that Republicans will reduce mortgage rates by slashing inflation. Uh, that's really a Fed decision, right? Um, but also open portions of federal lands to allow for new home construction. Sounds very much the same as the Harris plan and then promote home ownership through tax incentives and support for first time buyers. Also sounds very similar to the Harris plan. So what's different? Well, for, first off, there are so many first time home buyer programs right now. Uh, it, and, and my question to you, and this is a great question for Vice President Harris, who's gonna build the three million homes? Yeah. I mean, basically we believe either in a free market system or we believe in government intervention. And so the bottom line is you're going to drive up the cost. The reason we have 20% inflation under a Biden-Harris administration right now is because of all of the attacks on energy, for example, the bureaucracy. We need permitting reform. We need deregulation. We need to unlock American businesses to meet the needs of Americans. Mm -hmm. Basically, when you have municipalities stopping new developments for lot sizes and for first time home buyers, mm -hmm. that's the things you need to do by increasing and throwing more money and giving, like think about it for a second, uh, this ticket, and, and, and I know Governor Waltz, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with him in the National Governor's Association, he's a nice guy. I've met, I've met Vice President Harris a couple times. She seems like a nice person. But if you think about the Democratic ticket, They've never worked in the private sector. Uh, they and so their policies are showing that you can't give every single first-time home buyer twenty-five thousand mm -hmm. dollars and expect the prices of houses to come down. That's just not the way the economy works. That's okay. that's socialism. That's that's communism. Well, yeah, I, I, it's not clear what the Republican platform means when they say tax incentives and support for first-time buyers. Um, so it, it's not it's not 